Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's 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 loading right now. Cool. So now I can share it too. <clears throat> Let me post it here. Of course, I have to mute myself. <laughs> really have a plan for this I just want to make a character and I have a lot of inspiration right here Let me try this uh, in terms of music. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody can hear you. Just <laughs> as it information. Okay, three people are watching. That's nice. Okay, hi people. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just starting a, a random character right now. I don't really have an idea. I, I, I plan some characters before I started the stream just to make sure I know. I know what to draw. Uh, I started these guys here, but but now I, I think nah, I, I won't use anything like this. Just just make something new, and um, I'm also trying a new brush. It's it's a thing I do very very often. Just use a brush I'm not familiar with. So so I get more random results and uh, I'm a really big fan of random results it helps you to stay creative and and look to uh, on your image all the time just to see new accidents and, and little edges or areas where you can just see interesting stuff so yeah using random texture brushes it's just uh, like a creativity method for me. 
And I'm also getting very easily bored with when I use always the same brush. The only thing I know right now is I want to make a guy like like this, just just heavy and bulky, but also with a lot of detail and de and yeah stuff hanging on him and. I'm not sure, not even sure if it's going to be sci-fi or fantasy. I'm totally open. Now I have a problem, I'm going to use these very, very common uh, hero shape, like V-shape and, and the pose. I don't really like that, I, I want to change it up. I like to, to view um, on different kind of images while I draw, just to get a constant input on, on with, with visuals and maybe getting inspired by it without copying anything I see. Also using images that are not directly related to, to the po topic I'm drawing, like stuff like this. But it's, it's so many cool shapes in this image. <clears throat> um, it's, it's hard not to be inspired by it. This is a, as a side information. Um, I use a program called Pure Ref, and um, yeah, I can do stuff like this. Just drag and drop images right in here, and um, we have a lot of options just to align them, change the size, and organize them. And it's a it's a window that floats over other windows, so I can just paint in the background, and this is in the foreground, and I can move it all the time. Also the size, so it's perfect for reference. I mean, it's the only purpose. But yeah, it, it it's a good program for reference watching. I also have a second monitor. I could use that, but for me, it's kind of uh, mm, uncomfortable just to to look right all the time and left and right and left. And I just want to move the, my eyes a little bit and be on the same screen. <clears throat> mm. 
this silhouette is pretty interesting right now. I really like it. It's um, it's solid and heavy, but not not too heavy. He has like agile arms and and legs. And just to to see if I can do it better, I will copy this this one. And now I can just go a bit more crazy without losing the thing I really like. So maybe I will stick to the first one, but there's a chance I can I can do more interesting stuff with the second one. It would be a lot easier if I would know what to draw, but sometimes you just have no plan and, and just want to draw something cool, and uh, that happens to me a lot of times. Pure ref. Uh, let me write it down. Pure ref. It's free. The, I mean the software here, right? For for the reference, the software I'm drawing with is uh, Photoshop. see the face in his armor like I could just go more into it and define it more but faces in armor is so common that I don't want to use it just because it's common it looks cool but I just, just don't want to use it like teeth and faces. That's a thing that will always work and look cool. But there are other guys like Ariel Perez here, who is, he, he, he doesn't, don't use his like faces and, and, and um, teeth like that. And is, is always able to make it look cool. Feet are way too small right now.
I, I'm sucking with this teeth design right now, it's uh, just delete it. Maybe come up with the other idea. Oh yeah, this is nice. Stuff like this is, is always uh, helping when you think about new forms and designs. So maybe I can give him like a clear upper torso and a not so clear lower torso. Just, just by the way, I'm, I'm using like this texture brush for painting and for erasing. And if I want to make something very smooth, I just switch over to my smudge brush and go over it. It's pretty fast. Like if I want to make this one brighter, I just paint it in and make it smooth. Depends if, if I want to have something very smooth. normalized Just change this guy completely, but it's fine. We have no restrictions. We can do whatever we want. But now I think I, I like this guy more. I, I see more potential. Cool, cool armor, armor design. And it feels like, I mean, this is just a blob of colors and forms, but um, I feel like he's just um, looking at us. His, his pose is just not working. Maybe I have to give him something in his hands. Like two staffs, magic ones, big ones. Kind of an 
interesting form. There's stuff hanging on it. Like a two-handed mage. Dual wield. Dual wield. <laughs> always happens to me it's that I make the legs too short and I have to correct it later. Um, at first I thought okay if it's a mage I have to give him like clothing or more clothing but now I think if he's in a dual wielding um, mage maybe he needs some more um, aggressive um, armory Okay, let me just look for music here. Let's start with this one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I just will stick with a mix of armor and metal. Uh, metal armor and clothing armor. I think his silhouette is just <clears throat> a bit too boring right now. I need to add more more interesting variations. A, a very common thing would be like uh, big shoulders or giant bracelets or gauntlets. Mm. <clears throat> but it's too easy. Let's let's stick with small arms. Because it's it's a mage, she's not that fighter guy. Or not a big heavy fighter, just like a fast agile fighter. And he don't need big arms. But he needs a lot of stuff like talismans and books. Hey guys. Nice to read you. So uh, I want to fill the de design with um, stuff. Stuff like this. Mm. At the moment I'm just not sure which accessories you will get, but um, I will fill just in some forms and these forms can later be something more specific, like this could be a bag or a book, just doesn't matter at this point, it's just interesting for the silhouette. And maybe his stuff hanging around here. Everything is connected. Yeah, 
it's, it's going pretty, pretty good. I'm just not used to streaming English, <laughs> but it's, it's getting better. Need to warm up. I think I have to make his his foot and legs more interesting. Mm. Just not sure how. Uh, paint feathers. Okay. <clears throat> mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm paint feathers. Oh, why not? I mean. This too much medieval Warcraft style. Much better. No, this is a silhouette. Or maybe the punk variation. a bit sold on this idea. Kind of like it. Maybe not pink. <laughs> yeah, e even the mage has to look cool. So you don't just can use good working armor. No, no, no. Maybe just one feather, or like, like this. Just to let him appear bigger than, than he actually is, like, like a real bird would do. <laughs> nah, nah. No punk. <laughs> hmm. Now, now I just want to get these feathers in and do it right. Hmm. Just not sure. Let's look at birds. Use reference as often as you can. Birds. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let me show you this. Yeah, already some pretty interesting elements I could use in this design. I, I, I wanted to go a bit more dark and, and dark fantasy style, like, like, like a bad mage, <laughs> like a guy you would hit if you were the hero. So we don't can use it to, to, to friendly stuff. Horns! <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. 
is uh, yeah all time favorite I would say. Hmm. Let, let's let's search for bad birds. Maybe we can find bad birds. Oh no, <laughs> no birds. I mean, this guy has some really, really cool elements. Hmm. Ah, not sure. Just I, I would try it along the way. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> I see where this is going. Much more medieval. No, 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 I can't do that. But I have an idea, just... But, but I think the design has to go more forward until I can use that level of detail. But maybe just sticking feathers in here randomly as a design element so it can, can bring in some more color and detail and more chaos in the overall design and also I could just stick something out here and there and at first it would look like spikes and but we don't want spikes, spikes is too obvious but we can use feathers Yeah, Bloodborne. Bloodborne is already uh, also very good armor design. Really like that. Yeah, this is good. I, I like that. It fits the theme. Mm -hmm. Let's stick with that. Okay, and the last fix this lag. Maybe two plates here. No, no, I like the one. This is, this is good for the shape. I will use just really, really big lag protection here so I can make the silhouette or, or the overall design a bit more simpler and the legs and more complicated at the top. So I have just a, a little spot where nothing happens too much to rest the eye. Let's see. Oh yeah. Hmm. I like that. Maybe he has some kind of weapon here. Like a dagger. Hey, easy. <laughs> okay, I, I need something much more interesting than this hat. Hmm. 
it's time for a duplication. The thing is, I, I really don't know what I draw here. I just wait until I see something, and until then, my just my, my hand hits a tablet and creates random forms. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. So and. Horns are requested, right? Let's get crazy with horns. Oop. I think I have better better brush for horns. No. Some more chaotic ones. No, let's need more clean ones. There's no such thing as too many spikes. Kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, Antonia, you are funny. Please keep on. No, just once. Oh, let me see. suitable to show you. Mm. Why why I can't find once? Like find staffs and everything else.
Okay, don't don't Google magic wand. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes, yeah, something like this. A mage could use like what what is what Harry Potter is using just in in, in bigger and more beautiful, like a, a magic gun. But I imagine he could use like these uh, magic weapons to 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 fight in, in, in melee combat because they are maybe just very hot or cold and he could just strike with them. Not not sure at this point. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't understand why why magic wand is this and not magic wands. Hey there. I think this head design is still too, too normal, too easy. It's something more interesting here. Oh yeah, one-sided horns, one little eye, and one pretty big. God, oh guys, <laughs> and the first thing I got was a was a link to Amazon to buy magic ones. By anything. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah, I know what, what you mean. Um, mm -hmm. This one, like a half living weapon. Kind of interesting this concept. I, I like that. I can I can implement that. Hmm. Why not? No, let's let's have an idea, an idea for for a hat. Hmm. <laughs> this guy's great. <laughs> Perfect face for such a character. Oh, I really enjoyed this one.
Oj. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not suitable, y you're right. But I like this one where you can, can't really make out the face. Oops. Always switching too fast. Yeah, that's that's an idea. I mean, I, I could make this left weapon as a as a really strange dagger or sword, and the other th side could be a wand. But first, let's fix this fix this hat. For me, the the helmet is, is always the most complicated part because you don't want to go too too standard, too normal, too common. Um, just create something new without using faces and eyes and skull shapes. It's, it's not that easy, in my opinion. Hi there, Psyduck. Cape, the cape is always good, right? Yeah, I was going away from a cape because I thought, okay, if he's going to go melee combat or pretty close to his enemies, a cape would be not helpful, but it looks cool and, and sometimes cool wins. We can, we can try wait a big cape here nobody needs, needs small capes if you can use a cape use a big one Please no cape. Okay, we need a poll. Um, cape or no cape? I, I would say no cape. Or maybe a cape full of stuff like hats. And I 
think this canvas needs to be bigger. <gasps> this color. Okay. And we can copy the guy with Kite over here. Now I can always re-watch the old designs and see if I liked it or not. Okay, two, two guys for no cape, no cape, no, no, oh, everybody's no cape, good, no cape, <laughs> let's go. We still need some horns, right? Hmm. Oh, it's too... No, oh no. Hmm. An X cape. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I know these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, when you say horns, you mean massive horns, like massive horns. I, I think a short cape is, is fitting pretty well. It looks much more agile. So I can I can consider this for the end of the design. Just keep it in mind. <clears throat> okay, big, big horns, big big horns, big big horns. Uh, and this horns actually going into the helmet. Oh yeah, I like that. something mouth like here and everything is going to this middle so we don't have to use a face because faces are boring nobody needs faces That's a problem if you, when you use too many layers without uh, naming them. Yeah, bye, uh, bye, have fun.
So I, I think we can skip the horns now. <laughs> He's gone. No, it's fine. I, I like the design idea. Just keep the horns. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Name the layers. Mm -hmm. I would do it later if it's, when it's when it matters. But now, just I mean, I have every layer, and in front of me, I can see it. So it's it's fine. <laughs> Second batch of little horns here. <laughs> Thank you very much. So maybe this head is a bit too small, but not much. Okay, now now I want to use some more um, organic shapes. So I would just switch the brush to one that directly creates organic shapes. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, it looks like a full beard, but I don't like that idea, so it have to work it out. I like the the overall shape like it's it's going like this and this and this and out. I like that idea but um not how it's executed right now. Undead and rotten and an epic beer. Well, why not? No, I think a beard is too too obvious. It's too too human like. That's true, but we don't want a Dumbledore-esque design here. Yeah, I know, a good beard is always cool. Pretty, pretty old. Pretty old. I think this hat can get more shape variation. Like, I mean, I like the idea that the horns are going in here, like big teeth. But I have to push it more. Oh, the Hendrik is there. Hi. <laughs> yeah, badass night version of Dumbledore. That would be okay for, for the next stream. Yes, I, I have to prepare that. 
and actually look into his design a bit more. <laughs> I mean, now it looks like he has a house on his head. <laughs> nah, just... just no. That's right, Henrik. Yeah, I totally agree. I have to look into that for the next stream because I really like that idea. So just try to brighten this up a bit. As I said, the head part is the hardest for me. What I sometimes do when I don't really have a good idea, <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's like his his face is going completely in here. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's like when when Homer uh, tasted these these atomic citrus thing, and his face went inwards. <laughs> I don't want that. Let me check. I need some creepy ass stuff right now. And one of the best things that nature has to offer is creepy stuff, especially in plants and trees. Creepy tree. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I just could. Um, try it and try it and try it until I, I find something that that I really like or I can can help my brain to see some new forms and shapes by putting in some photography like this
and switching the layer modes. This is already helping. Where is my stream? Hmm, there. <clears throat> yeah, I really like this silhouette thing. It, it helps me just focus on one thing and go go much into much more into detail later. At first, just just uh, the the big read. Yeah, could be a mask. I can draw it in here. A <laughs> cheater. It's just for the purpose of um, uh, doing it live fast. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, it's fine. Uh, for me, it was a, a moral a moral problem a long time, like using photography, it's because you didn't do it yourself. But I'm just searching for an idea. And um, for this case, I think it's fine. You can buy it, it's, it's pretty cheap. Now I see the ad is a bit too dislocated, so like this is better. And also one thing, I have a lot of blacks in here and um, if I have too much blacks I can't go blacker and so I don't have so much room to play with values. My skill is uh, okay. I can I can show you my skill. Wait, wait, wait a second. I just have to um, look into this. Um, I'm getting a bit of the blacks out. Okay, <clears throat> just just one demonstration. I sh show you my skill. One moment. You take a picture, like something that completely doesn't look like a monster you want to draw. <clears throat> Click, drag, drop. Hit Alt on the keyboard and hit in between the layers. Make it a bit smaller with Control T. Done. You can sell it as your own. Pretty easy, right? He still has this <laughs> old man face without teeth. So, yeah.
Magic. <laughs> yeah, I, had, I had to, I had to train this method for years, years, sitting alone at home and drag and fail and drop and fail and yeah, now, now I can do it like that, no problem. It's a, it's a bit better. <sighs> I'm always looking back to the first version like this. It's looks more promising right now, but ah, sometimes you have to stick to something until it works. GPS knows why not. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it's not like that. I I use warm showers. Yeah, well, it was totally worth it. So I can I can recommend crying in the shower for years. No, I think this is it's not going to make it. Change up the brush. Some something I can better sculpt with. No, it's it's it's. Uh, I think I like these eyes. This is creepy enough. <laughs> Naming the layers. <laughs> Just let me delete old stuff here. Or, yeah, this is going here. And I don't need this, this, this. A bit of clean up here, and this can go here and getting rid of the rest. Yeah, this guy is okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I, something about this face is really great and something is not. Um, I think this 
stubby nose here is it's not helping. Make it a bit more flat. Yeah, please, please save that sentence. Uh, other line. You will like it, I guarantee you. To dunno. Yeah, it's it's a it's a perspective problem, right now. Okay, I, I... Yeah. <clears throat> no. like but but not not in a bad way I like the insane um, eyes like very big very focused on you when he's attacking you you always have the feeling that the the guy is looking directly at you not not the guy down left here he's very passive you don't know where he's looking but, but this guy is staring at you and this that's very hard on a battlefield I would say or guess see you bye and uh, thank you uh, thank you for watching. a few micro spikes here and there to make it look less soft and friendly I can live with this. 
don't like it. too much oh no it's so busy, but too small well oh. oh, that's fine oh, bringing some more values into the rest of the character with another random brush Just try to imagine where we wouldn't have much light. I'm not sure about this armor design right now. I'll just wait until an idea strikes me. When I know um, this is going to be like skin, I can always use my, just switch my smudge brush and go over it. I instantly have a more skin-like appearance. I think it can make a picture much more interesting when you use soft and hard but uh, edges in variations. And when you go soft, you go really soft, and when you go hard, go really hard. So you have much more difference, and difference is interest. So yeah, push it with the brushes. The legs are still too too easy. Let's go with the full armor here. Something that fits the head armor.
Whoa. Sometimes Photoshop is just a slow to react. Yeah, kind of like that, but uh, the upper part of the legs are still a bit boring. I think we can put much more stuff there. I would assume if he's wearing leg armor, he would also use arm armor. So, yeah. Mm. That's a good chance to, to widen the silhouette there with a good reason. I think we can use <clears throat> some more spikes here, just like on the helmet, to make clear it's on the same set of armor. Just so this silhouette seems fitting. Same thing here. Just a bit random. Hi, Flakes. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Now, now we'll start to use more layers on the character because they have all these spikes on one layer and uh, some of the armor on one layer. And yeah, they can. I'm a bit more sure about the overall design, so now I go next step with my carefulness and be sure to, to make it safe and I can easily change things. But 
without losing my progress on the overall character. <laughs> Thanks, Flix. Maybe I can can push the values a bit more right now. So <clears throat> I would just create another layer. Or no, I mean there are a lot of methods I can push values, but this time I will use curves. Just make it brighter. Erase everything and bring it back with a mask. It's another non-destructive method. I can play with it without changing the drawing. So with this layer, I just go brighter and I can create another one, just go darker. Like on the back side here to create a bit more depth. In this case, just you're wondering, um, I'm using a brush like this. Again, very chaotic, and that helps to keep the image look a bit more lively. And if I want to have a smooth gradient, just can use my smudge brush. better now this is pretty flat but still interesting looking but if I want to go more into details and show more of the stuff he wears and more of the, more of, the, of the depth I will have to push my values to go brighter and darker I have more to play with now
Oh, I just draw random shapes for stuff he wears. I'm still not 100% sure what he is wearing, like if it's books or amulets and stuff like that. But sometimes you don't have to draw everything perfectly, just, just indicate it. It, it won't make the overall design more uh, better or worse if you show more or less until you see everything that is important. I think I'm ready to make one layer out of it. I know this pink stuff is going to be feathers later. But I'm not sure what the rest is going to be. Maybe a mix of of fur and other feathers and metal. Just pushing the values right now a bit more. Don't think about colors right now, just about values. I can correct the colors at any time, unless the values are right. Okay, and this is too bright. I just want want the metal to be really bright and shiny on some edges, just to indicate that it's metal. Nothing else in the image is, image is going to be as bright as, as uh, the metal. Just to get a better read um, regarding the materials. I think it will go with fur and feathers, covered with amulets and stuff.
Yeah. That fits pretty well. I think if he wants to be agile and, and mobile, um, he needs some very, I, I would think, uh, movable armor. No, no big plates or, or such thing. And also the use of, of fur and feathers is something natural and maybe he uses fur and feathers from specific animals or creatures that are maybe magical and it's more protective than an armor could be. We could, could connect both shoulders with lots of amulets. Um, I mean, I could, could use one amulet, but this is kind of boring, I would say. Just lose, let's use a lot of amulets. And because I know I want to use more, I will make a new layer for that and just first of all, make them more bright. That's an interesting read. And one layer above, maybe brighter. Oh, first, let's make this a bit darker with shadow. Texture to them. When I go further with the character design, um, every decision seems to be a bit harder to make. Just not to screw it up anymore. No, okay, this is not working good. I still like the idea of more amulets, but not this way. Maybe 
we need different shapes. And you also can have something that's hanging here. better now some connections here Okay, this is working much better. It's now looking like he's wearing something um, with a purpose. Yeah, okay, good idea. Just no, no, it's, that's fine. That's right. Maybe I can just use another brush. like a spider web of connections here. Everything leads to this piece. Mm -hmm. Looks more magical in my opinion. Now I can use some more less aggressive brushes. Now I can start basically the more precise part of the painting. But I actually know what I'm drawing. Sometimes. 
So it's going to have this case here. A little bag. Then this dagger. Ooh, welcome back. to see this back here. Thanks, thanks. I mean, I worked basically all the time <laughs> when you were not watching um, on this necklace. Now it's starting to get getting, uh, getting a bit more uh, complicated because now I have to think what is actually wearing, like in this case a dagger, a bag, and ooh, this could be another bag. Yeah, why not? Full of magical powder. Because it looks like a damaged dream catcher, now it's an eye catcher. So, so maybe uh, we should just pin an eye to it, like here. Can you actually hear the music? By the way, I'm now using a brush with transparency on. So like if I press light, it draws light and press hard, it draws hard. And this is pretty helpful when I draw like here the the back side of the fur because when you have hair or fur uh, on the edge and you get light from behind the the sides or like the, the top won't um, block all the light something will go through and yeah this brush helps with so if I had to if I would use a hard brush without transparency, I would have to pick lighter colors with every step. And yeah, it's, it would work, but it's more complicated. Ah, there's no music. <laughs> Everybody's wondering why dancing all the time. Okay.
please please tell me when you hear music. Nice one. So now I basically double the coolness. Like this image with that music works just better. Yeah, Leo, right. I always forget about this last name. Leo Moracchioli. Moracchioli, yeah. I have to see how you hold this hand.
need to change the weapon. Please tell me if music is too loud. Just not normal swords and daggers. Okay, thanks. So I, I reduce it right now. Let's let's test again. Precious voice. Uh -huh. silhouette and clean it up a bit. Maybe even a nut. So random brush.
for the feet. <clears throat> Just boots or... I really like naked feet. As a... Uh, <laughs> I mean, for this character. It looks just more agile. Yeah, look like boots already. That's, that's true, but I want to go away from the boot look, so I just have to widen the armor a bit. Like this. Obvious gap here. Now it's time for more precise brush again. It's all about to it. Stupid. Nah. Okay. No, okay. Just. Just no. Let's go. Ass kick. Shoes. Oops, on these shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because he's wearing all of these old clothing why not use an old clothing here to blend it a bit better Oh. 
that's fine. Okay, that's, that's fine for now. I'm not totally sold with these shoes, but they are fine enough. So, music is empty again. Mm. Nope. More tomatoes. We need something under his belt here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean for the shoes? I could go with that. But something that is more fitting to the. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This clunky. Maybe we need something more. Yeah, at the moment it's 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 a problem with the rendering. I, I have to let it look more like feathers, but that's the thing when you use like very rough brushes. It can be literally anything until you define it, and um, so I can think about the shape and if I sh like the shape on the place um, without thinking about what it is. Just does it work or does it not work? And if it works, okay, is it a crystal or is it a feather? Okay, let's, let's kill the crystal feathers here and 
rethink this. Wrong layout. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Right. I totally agree with that. Yeah, a horned insect all sure. I think getting feet to look cool uh, is hard. Let's, let's try a different approach here. Maybe directly combined with bigger walls. What? Struggles for you? Hmm.
looks wrong, but I can grab it. It's like accidents like this this little white highlight here oh it looks like metal did I say accidents no I, I, I totally mean um, planned highlights Everything's planned here. Highlight and using color dodge without transparency shapes layers. <laughs> yeah, right. That's always my thinking. Just use big ass random rough brushes, uh, brushes, and you can hide everything. <laughs> I think um, music plays plays a big role while drawing. Sometimes is when you need to really think about something, and you you have a planned image and or or a contract or a commission where you have a specific idea that needs to be drawn. I think it's better not to listen to music, especially in the beginning when you really have to think and plan. Mm. But when you have an image like this, without any planning, it's more like an emotional drawing approach. You just go by your gut, see what happens. And um, for this approach, I would often say, okay, use music to get you in the right mood. But now I'm starting to go to the details. The mood is already set and I'm into the character, I can, can imagine how he works. And now it would be maybe good to stop the music, to be more focused. But I don't want to lose all the coolness <laughs> with this music.
Okay, next thing I need to make clear is what is rearing under all this stuff. Just for the sake of the silhouette. More armor. The problem with soundtracks is um, the copyright. Thing. If I, if the stream would be not there, I would use probably something without lyrics. Yeah, that's right. The read on these armor pieces are not that good right now, but no problem, I will probably paint over it with, with more stuff that hangs around the character. Like this, this. Yeah, next time. Next time I could draw something that fits better for Synthwave. I think this spider net thing is um, a great element I can repeat in this character a bit more.
Uh -huh. Now I need something for his boat area. I think um, this area is just too too big. I mean, it could be the belt, or maybe it just like it. Head armor. I don't like this at the moment. This shape. It's a bit too much blocking his agility. So maybe a bed could go with this here. Uh, I mean, here. This is a good area for a belt like this, this top, for a big belt. And the rest could be just like cloth and stuff. So, how do we fix this? Just paint over it. It's it's okay now, so basically the, the top is pretty chaotic and a lot of things are going on and the middle of the torso is great. And we have a little bit of rest where the pelvis is and, and with the with the bottom of the legs. And now we have a great opportunity to put in much more stuff in here that are hanging around. a bit more. Song's great.
can change so much by changing the silhouette. Now I think his waist uh, is looking too too wide. But we have Photoshop so we can change it pretty easy. Mm, let's first duplicate it. Bring this another layer right click layer we are cut control shift X Photoshop errors. See this? Cutting line? It's there, but it's not actually there. It's just Photoshop. I think it has to be there. Damn it, Photoshop. Let's just change this. Here we just can indicate that we have the same design like this side without actually rendering it. white spots by painting under it. Well, this is going to really want. So let's put something 
more fragile in here. something bright in here like woven in crystals oh, always crystals if you have magic you need crystals right Alpha, welcome. Yeah, it could definitely be a female. I mean, look at the shoes. Could, could. Clown. <laughs> of course. Why not?
Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So let's see. This is right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to try some some more colors. This needs a bit of rendering. Looks a bit weird right now, but it's easier to, to overpaint. The radius are great, just for the readability. But now, let's group everything together. And let's see if, if the radius are fine as a color basement. Using color dynamics. Just very gentle going in there and try to bring in some color. I think his skin is way too dark to to work as skin. I just even a bit darker. This can mm -hmm. uh, 
was great. I think just because um, the fur on the shoulders is such a big part, uh, needs to have a really, really distinct color. Maybe even with a pattern on it. Hmm. Let's see. So I think the armor could use a bit more darkness. And I think the horns are part of the helmet, so they're not going to be a different material. It stays metal. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm... I see it's pretty late right now, it's like... Five minutes to ten. I would say we can go ten, ten more minutes and then it's done for today. If that's fine. Maybe just let us put in some more color in here before the end to have a more finished look. Okay, in, in this case, I maybe would change the 
color from the metal, all the metal, to something brighter. Not sure. I mean, it could look good. And we have like a bony look. I mean, this is a rough rendering with rough color. Next step would be to draw over everything for the next 200 days until it's it looks fine. Oh, Christmas song. Bye. Looks like rubber shoes. <laughs> oh, damn. But it's but it's a pretty easy step to color something. I mean, I I I use colors while I draw it, but what really is important are the values because now when I use a color layer he only will use the values underneath with the color I give him right now via brush so and I take away all the color in the picture and I also take away the color layer I created right now. Nothing changes. It's really just the color. Okay, if just some other person likes the colors, I'm fine with it. But yeah, I mean, it will look better with more rendering. here ah. I like it now I can I mean everything here is in, in one group right so and now I will give this group 
a layer mask and can paint black in here to clean it up. And if I accidentally draw over it, no problem, I can just repaint it because it's just a mask. But now I can also fine tune stuff like, like here. Um, this hand is really ugly right now, but for me, just the most important thing is where it is and which move the hand makes, or which pose it takes. And now in the rendering stage, I would like re-render the hand and maybe use also photography reference for my own hand with a similar position, just to make it really right. It depends how far I go with the, with the rendering. I really like this part here, so maybe I will expand it a bit. Hi. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Uh, the end is near. Um, <laughs> Sleep is for losers. <laughs> So yeah, this can take a lot of time right now, going to the detail end and fixing all these errors here and the colors. But at this stage, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the with the overall picture, and and now I can go in there without much thinking, just start a movie and watch it with one eye and render this till it's finished. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Any questions? If not, no problem. There will be another stream sometime and uh, we can go from there. Okay, any words by Life Art Academy? If not, um, thanks to everybody who watched and and wrote something. It was a lot of pleasure, and um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I, maybe I will do it much more often now. <laughs> Just bye.